Good morning, Daily Dosers, or good afternoon, wherever this video is finding you today. My name is Alexis, and I am so happy to be here with you guys. Today, we're continuing our series talking about grief and how to walk through grief well and with Jesus. And I know a lot of us have experience with grief. Maybe you've been through small amounts of grief or through life-altering amounts of grief. Whatever your journey has been, I am sorry that you've had to go through what you have. I hope that it's brought you closer to the presence of God and given you an example to live out and to encourage others in their grief. And that's actually what I want to talk about today is how to love others well when they are going through grief. I know that we all have our own experiences with pain and loss, but I'm sure you've also walked alongside people going through pain and loss and really difficult times. And today I want to look at a story in the Bible that shows a beautiful example of how Jesus handles um, being with other people in their grief. And it's the story of Lazarus, which I'm sure you've heard before. And a couple of months ago, we had a pastor from a nearby church named Rick Warren come and talk to our staff about grief. And he shed some light on this story that I had never thought about before and I thought was such an encouragement and something that we should unpack today. So it's in the book of John chapter 11. And the story of Lazarus is sad. He passes away. He's a friend of Jesus, a brother of Mary and Martha, and he passes away. And they are all extremely sad, obviously. They just lost their brother. There's a bunch of other people there grieving with them who have just lost a friend. And Jesus finds out about this and decides that he needs to go and be with them. So he comes to see Mary and Martha and the others who are there. And a lot of us know the end of the story. Jesus does an amazing miracle. But that's not the part that I want to focus on today. The part I want to focus on today starts in verse 32. And it says, When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? Jesus asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. And in verse 35, it says, Jesus wept. Now, what I love about this verse, the shortest verse in the Bible, it's only two words, it says Jesus wept, is I think it gives such a powerful example of what we need to be doing in the lives of the people around us who are going through grief. You see, later in this story, Jesus is about to raise Lazarus from the dead. He's about to bring him back to life, a huge miracle. But Jesus doesn't walk in and say, everybody stop crying, I'm about to do a huge miracle, or you don't need to be sad because I'm going to fix it right now. Jesus walks in and he weeps with them and he sits with them in their pain. And I think a lot of us, um, our first reaction when it comes to grief is to jump to giving advice or telling people to see a silver lining or trying to help people get through their situation or tell them to see the purpose that God has for them through this. But we should take the example from Jesus and to just weep with those who weep. And in Romans 12, verse 15, it says, Laugh with those who laugh and cry with those who cry. And so my challenge for you guys is wherever you're at, whoever in your life is going through grief, or maybe hold on to this for the time when you do walk through grief with someone, I encourage you to just be with them, to sit with them in their grief, to weep with them if they are weeping, not to try and give advice or to try and help them move through their pain, but to just be with them. We can be most like Christ when we just be with people in their pain instead of trying to change it or take it away. I hope you guys were encouraged by today's message, and we'll see you next time.